<laughs> What's up, pranksters, and welcome to Cinex TV. This is Sin Fado, and I'm Nex. You guys know me from my other channel. Well, in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys some clever ways where you guys can hide your valuables at home in plain sight. Yeah, so just like Nex said, you guys are gonna be taking little things just like I have here, this little stuffed animal, and it's gonna be in plain sight, and you're just gonna be able to hide it anywhere, like your valuables, your money, your keys, things like that. So with no further delay, guys, check it out. All right, let's get started with our first hack. And this one only requires a glue stick like this one right here. And this for the next time you're in class and you wanna keep your money safe. Let's say you wanna have some spare cash laying around your desk for uh, an emergency, such as uh, let's say you forgot your lunch money or you didn't bring any lunch to work or school, then this would be perfect for that. So like I said, all you need is a glue stick. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna open it and we're gonna take out the whole glue stick that's inside. So all you gotta do is twist the bottom and the glue stick should push up all the way to the very top. And then at that point, you just pull it up. All right, so once you have the, your piece of glue stick, you're gonna have to uh, make a little cut. But before you do that, you're gonna have to clean out the container. And if you don't really care, then don't do it. What I'm gonna do here is I put the money in a little bag and the bag, you can, you can roll it. Once you've rolled it, you just stick it inside. So your money's safe in there. And to cover it up, all you're gonna need is a piece of the glue stick. So with your blade, just cut off a little piece that you can stick on top, just like that. It cuts like butter, so easy. So take your piece of glue stick and just put it on top, just like that. And that's it. You put the cap on, and you have yourself a little secret safe you can keep in your desk or anywhere in the office. So like I said, next time, let's say you forget your money or you don't have any money and you remember that you have some spare cash in this glue stick. Basically, all you do is pop off the top. You got the, the glue stick right there. So like I said, you can still use this as long as you still have glue stick on top. You remove that and it'll reveal your money. So all you gotta do is take it out. And if you only need a buck and you got three in there, so just take one out and put the rest back. And that's it. And that's your secret compartment that you could have in your desk. So for this next one, guys, all you need is a little pill bottle like I have here. I just removed the label and it looks a lot nicer. And uh, a rock. And I'm gonna tell you why you need this little sharp rock and it's kind of tall. I'm gonna tell you why you guys need this. Basically, guys, for this, you wanna take your uh, pill bottle. And the reason why I chose the pill bottle is so you can hide it outside. So let's say you come home and you forgot your keys, right? And you're like, how am I gonna get inside my house? Well, if you have a little secret compartment outside with your with your spare keys, then you'll be you'll be golden, you'll be good, you'll be diamond. I'm going to take my keys, I'm going to put them in this little pill bottle here. Just like that, guys. I'm going to take this rock and I'm going to put it on top of the pill bottle and I'm going to super glue it on top. So that'll be my little key point to know that this is this is where my pill bottle is at outside. Now, I've already outside I've already dug a hole and I'm gonna put my little pill bottle there. And once this little rock is glued on top, then I'm gonna be able to track it very easily. So when I come home and I'm really mad because I can't get inside of my house, or maybe I forgot the keys to my car, but I'll know exactly where this little pill bottle is just based on this rock. So I already have my glue gun set and ready to go. So I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm gonna throw some glue on top of this little lid here, just like this. And I'm gonna put that rock on top. And I'll show you, well, I'll put a little bit on the rock as well. Just like that. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So it should come out like this, guys. The rock is gonna be standing straight up. This is gonna be your little hint that this is where your pill bottle's at with your keys. You can put keys in here or you can put any other valuable treasures that you guys want to put outside that nobody will be able to find but you. That is up to you and you can be as creative as you want with this. I chose keys because it's happened to me before when I come from school and I forgot my keys or I lost my keys and I'm like, shoot, I'm gonna get killed for this. But I remember that I had a little secret compartment outside and that's where I put my keys. So when this dries up, 
like it's it's already done now then i'm ready to go guys and i'm going to go outside and demonstrate where to hide this and exactly how to do it and i'm gonna do that for you guys right now all right so like i told you guys i'm gonna demonstrate where to hide this i chose this little spot behind this little plant here that's all dried up that nobody's really gonna pay attention to it's a perfect spot for me i, I think so so i'm i already dug this hole as you guys can see right here i'm just gonna put my little pill bottle in there just like that and then what you guys want to do is just cover it up to the point where your little rock is sticking up. So that's your little key point that that's where your hidden treasure is at. So you just want to take all these rocks and you want to start covering your little pill bottle, your little treasure. Just like this, guys. Just like that. There it will cover everything else. Just like this. I'm sorry that it's a little bit windy out here, guys. I hope that my voice still sounds really good. But it's really windy out here right now, as you can tell. So like I told you guys, there's your hint that here's your treasure right here. Because it's the, the rock that's sticking up. You want to probably just clean it up to make it seem like nothing really happened here. So say you get home like I told you guys and you don't know where your keys are at. Then the next thing you want to do is look for your little hint. And your little hint's right there, sticking up right in front of your nose. So then once you know where it's at, you just want to dig it up again. Just like that. And there it is right there bring that up there's your little pill bottle and now you guys can get back in your house so it's pretty cool guys so there you go oh okay oh so for this next one guys all you need is a little plush toy like I have here you, any size will work for this one this is gonna be the simplest one that you can do at home and for this, all you need to do is basically create a little hole on the back of your little plush toy. The reason why I chose this guy here is because he has a cape, guys, a superhero cape. I don't know who this is, but he has a superhero cape. I'm just kidding, it's Batman. Once you create your little hole, then you can hide valuable items in here and he's gonna be in plain sight. Nobody's ever gonna suspect that he's gonna have anything in them, which makes him the perfect toy to use for this. So I have Nexus face on this SD card and I'm gonna hide it since it's treasure to a lot of you guys. Nobody will ever be able to find it in this little Batman plush toy. So once you've created your hole, all you do is you just take your little SD card and you just stuff it in there. Now you have the option of taking the card out and putting it back in there, that's optional. But for this one, it's so much easier to just put it in there and just cover the cotton over, just like that. Just close it up a little bit. And the cool thing about this plush toy is that since he has a cape, I don't have to really use a safety pin. So that's the other reason why the safety pin you see here is on the table, is because if you have a teddy bear and you don't have access to a little plush toy that has a cape, then you could also take a safety pin and close it up and it'll just be like that. But since we have a cape, we could just throw that cape over, just make sure all your cotton's in there, and then boom, there you go, guys. So if, so if I'm sleeping on the couch with them, nobody's gonna suspect that, hey, this little guy's carrying Nexus face in there, and I want it. No, they're not gonna know anything. So you have the option of taking a little technology and hiding it, or maybe you have some cash that you don't want nobody to find. You have an older brother or sister that steals your money, like I do. So. Um, you want to hide it and they'll never think it's in there. So say one day you want to take your little treasure out So you just go back to your little plush toy Dig that up and then there you go guys. There it is right there. Oh Hey, what up guys? I didn't notice you there uh, Since you're here. So for this next one, I uh, I'm gonna tell you guys that I don't know about you guys But for me when I'm in the office and I have that one office person that always comes around and tries to steal my pants or my pencils this is a clever way to hide all your good stuff away from that person or maybe at school too. If you have that one classmate that likes to steal your stuff. So what you need for this is just a hole puncher like I have here. Now usually all these hole punchers have this little plastic strip as you see down here and it easily comes off guys. All you just do is just tug on it like this, easily comes off and it creates a little secret compartment under it. Now, like I said, if you have one of those people that always likes to steal your stuff, or at home, I know my brother always likes to steal my stuff, and when I hang out with Nex, he likes to steal my pens. So I like to hide them from him all the time. So, like last time he told me he was looking for a pen in specific, I was like, you're not gonna find it, and he never found it. I hid it right here. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You just take your pen, or whatever other valuables, like if you have some spare cash and you wanna hide that as well, you just take that, fold it up, 
and put that in there as well. Next, you just take the cover of the hole puncher and you just put it in there, just like this. It's so simple and so easy, guys. And then you just flip it back over and then voila, everybody keeps using it but has no idea that you have money in there or maybe the pen that they want and they've been looking for. So next when they come around and you need that pen again, then you just go to your little hole puncher here and you just take it back out. Or maybe you, you wanna go to the vending machine or you wanna go to the, the store and, and you need a little bit of extra cash. Then you just take, you go, oh, okay, where did I leave that? Oh, I left it in my hole puncher. Then you just take your hole puncher, flip it upside down, pop that up again, and then there's your cash right there. Just take what you need. Uh, if you need the pencil, you can take your pencil. If you need all the cash, then you take all the cash and then just close it back up so nobody knows that you had anything hiding in there. And then voila, there you guys go. Your little hole puncher, secret compartment, hiding place. And now we're down to our last hack of the day. And this one involves a Tupperware or is it some kind of container that you can seal. So this one right here would work perfectly. Now again, you'll have to be able to fill up the whole container with your valuables. And right here, I have a bunch of valuables that I call valuables. For example, I got a, this uh, long piece of beef jerky that is really, really good. And I don't want my roommate getting his hands on them. Or guys like Sin Fado, I know this guy loves this kind of stuff and so I wanna keep it away from him. So what I'm gonna do is stuff this container with all my valuables. So I'm gonna start off with the beef jerky and then put everything in there. You always wanna hide money. So you put the lid back on, you twist it on. Now, you're asking yourself, where are you gonna put this? Well, there's so many places around the house where you can put this. But me, personally, I'm gonna choose one of the places that nobody really looks, and that is the toilet tank. Yes, that's the tank that holds the water behind the toilet. Okay, practice. while I'm here in the restroom, this is the toilet tank. So basically what you're gonna do is remove the lid, and now it's exposed, and as you can see in there, uh, my toilets usually have the blue disinfectant that you see right there, so that's even better because it'll help hide the container and before you put this in there make sure that it's sealed in tight so make sure no water can get in this now once that is ready you just dump it in there like this just like that now of course this is not going to go through the little hole it's not going to drain out so that will stay in place and really all you got to do is put the lid back on there and your valuables will remain safe because nobody really opens this up unless there's an issue with the toilet so let's say your roommate was to blow it up at some point or there was an issue with the toilet, then maybe, maybe they'll check the back, but usually nobody checks the back. So that is a perfect spot to hide your valuables. Let's say it was late at night and you needed to get something out of that container. All you gotta do is lift up the lid again, grab the container. So as you can see, no water was able to get in there. Now you take what you need and then you put everything back. Just like that, pranksters, your valuables remain safe and you're able to take out things as you go. So that's another hiding spot where you can put your valuables. And there you have it, pranksters, five creative ways where you can hide your valuables at home in plain sight. Now, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. That would mean the world to us. We really appreciate you guys' support uh, up to this point. This was Sin Fado and Next from Cinex TV. If you wanna see more, again, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.